Hello my YouTube fan, welcome back, you know who you are, thanks for joining me. Uh, the reason I'm making this little video today is um, I've had this XT250 trail bike for about 25 years now. I, uh, I bought it when my girls, my two eldest girls were little and we used to go around the lanes and the pits of Yorkshire, three up on it. Uh, what a fantastic bike, it's the XT250 and I've been doing some restoration work on it well I say restoration, um, MOT work and um, I looked on YouTube, I didn't realise there were that many XT250 motorbikes out there on YouTube so I decided maybe put mine up anyway, uh, the reason it ended up on the bench I had to replace a bush in there and when I took all the wheel out and what have you to get at it, I realised that on the inside, um, right away. yeah, on the underside there, <clears throat> it was all rotten, so I had to weld that up. So it was just as well, really, I had to change the bush. Um, otherwise, I might not have noticed it until it was too late. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> got a bit of a frog in my throat so anyway while it were off uh, I did numerous things I did a bit of painting on it and whatnot cleaning it up um, did some welding at the bottom of the pegs because these were sitting a bit sad you know you know how they go they just wear and slope at the bottom till your partner falls off um, what else yeah all the exhaust were taken off the stud were damaged in there I did the old trick of um, welding a a washer on the end of the stud and then fasten a bolt to it and then try and undo it and it just wasn't enough and it kept ripping off so I had to drill it out as best I could and then tap it which I'm not a big fan of because normally things go south if I try things like that but fortunately done and dusted sorted um, so I'm um, in process of wiring all stuff back up now I wish they'd have taken some pictures <laughs> so what we done ah yeah we've got a new brake light switch put in I've just fastened that up excuse the biscuits in my hand I was just having a cup of coffee and a, a biscuit I'll put those down hang on right they're down um, there's my coffee It's to work as YouTube. Anyway, right. So what else then? Yeah, I'm just in the process. I'm just putting the wiring up back up in here, and then I can check that light switch. I've got a new battery for it. Uh, one thing I did do, which was a bit ah upsetting, was when I was trying to get the carburetor back in. It's uh, if any of you have ever taken it out, it's such a tight fit in there. When I was putting it back. I got annoyed because all these wires were in the way but what happened was over the years they've really faded and they're not very good so there were two red ones I've just made them more detailed red by putting some red plastic sleeving on it because they were getting a bit threadbare could have done to get a new um, winding harness but couldn't be bothered it'll do me for now so yeah, it's been tarted up. Uh, gators split, I've got some new gators. I've got them to put on. Um, tanks up there. It's got a dint in it. I'm hoping to take it to a show this year. Um, a local show. And you can show the... Um, your older bikes off. Vintage. It's hard to believe that when I first got this, I used to say to my wife when I was first married, I said, oh, you know, I said, I'd, I'd love to be old, you know what I mean? And, sorry, I'd, I'd love to go in a shed and find an old vintage motorbike and whatnot. Anyway, although it's not exactly a VSA Bantam or a, uh, a Villiers or a Triumph or whatever, it is still 1982. It's over 25 years old and it's still a good bike. And they were a good bike. 
It's only a 250, but I've been all over the place in this. Um, yeah, we've had some good holidays in it, and we've run up and down Britain. It's not super fast, but you know, it's it's a plugger. I can't wait to get back and uh, get on the hills with it. Yeah, touring around. The only problem is, um, within the past few years, I've not not been as well as what I should have been. Um, I had a couple of heart attacks, and. Um, so it's really slowed me down. But I still like tinkering with the bikes. I mean, I've had them since I was seven year old, six, seven year old. I used to go on pit hills in Yorkshire. Uh, there's hardly any pit hills left now for people. But those are my generation in the 60s. They'll know that back in Yorkshire in the day, there were beautiful slag heaps and what have you to go around on, on the old plaggy 50s. Remember that? The old under 50s, you could pick them up for a tenner and go thrash them to bits. <laughs> well, we had hours of fun, but kids can't do that anymore. It's not that easy. Um, so, with my heart attacks, it's really slowed me down now. I mean, that used to be uh, one of my better bikes. That's the Bandit Fire, uh, 600. Uh, that's its stable, mate. Nice bike, uh, bit of a pig, bit overrated. Uh, when I got it, I thought, you know, there were there were bees knees from all reviews I got. They are nice to ride. It's a kind of love hate relationship, and they do feel right, you know, to throw them around and what have you. They're a good little bike, but they're they're not super fast as as the bikes are today. I mean, the bikes today. <coughs> I mean, they're that fast out of the crate. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's beyond reasoning, really, the bikes. They're too fast. Because most of the youths nowadays, their brains are not connected to the wrists. Hence, they're always throwing them down the road. They ride beyond the limits. There's a saying, there are old bikers and there are bold bikers. But there are no old, bold bikers. So if there's any bikers that's watching this YouTube uh, video, uh, take care out there because it is summer and it is the mad season. So make sure your brain's connected to your wrist and that way you'll keep it out of hospital. Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you again a bit later. Bye for now.